So there's a few things you probably already know about Lululemon. First, it's freaking expensive. Second, the logo looks like it's loosely based on the hairdo of a 70s sitcom superstar. And three, it's the garb of the top echelons of the yoga cult. <sighs> But there's a couple of things that might surprise you about Lululemon and the pants that I'm wearing right now. So hang tight. All right, my friends, you know the drill. If you wanna make a difference in the world with the money that you spend with your dollars, I want you to subscribe, hit the bell. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Chad, I'm your Legacy Goods Curator. You see, every single dollar that you spend is a vote for the kind of world that you wanna live in. So I have created this channel for you to be more informed and cast your vote for a better world. So I have a question for you. That I want you to put the answers in the comments. What is your perception of Lululemon? Your honest perception of Lululemon? And do you own any, yes or no? Put your answer in the comments, I can't wait to hear. Listen, I have been skeptical of the lemon for years. You see, my wife is a yoga teacher and she had bought a few pieces of Lululemon, which I was totally okay with. It's her work, she's, she's in them every single day. But for me, it just didn't seem worth it, it's so, freaking expensive and I'm doing just fine in my umbro soccer shorts thank you very much but then I have to tell you my life was changed forever I was converted to the cult of Lululemon uh... you see these pants came into my life and they haven't left my body since I'm serious I sleep in them I eat in them I work out in them I go to the swimming pool in them. You are going to have to peel these pants off of my dead body. These are the ABC pants, the anti-ball crushers that Lululemon makes. I'm so glad somebody's looking out for our balls. The flexibility, the slim look, the durability. I'm telling you, these pants have changed my life forever. They really are like having your nuts nestled in a nice soft blankie all day long. So what do I love about these ABC pants besides all the room for the family jewels? Let me tell you about a couple of things. The material is strong and stretchy. I know that these are gonna wear really, really well. There's pockets everywhere, including a secure back pocket with a zipper. There's also an inside pocket inside of one of the front pockets. I just, I guess I just really love pockets. Pockets, 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 pockets. And I just look freaking good in them. So I'm not even gonna lie to you, you're gonna see me wearing these ABC anti-ball crusher pants in every single video going forward because they feel amazing and at 130 bucks, I gotta get my money's worth, right? So practically having these pants surgically attached to my body, it got me curious. You know, maybe there's some things I don't know about Lululemon. Maybe I didn't really give them a chance. And you see, my channel is not about buying things, like buying a lot of things. It's buying the right things at a fair price that will last you a long time. I believe in having a few nice things rather than a lot of shitty things. So I started to do some research and started to realize I actually really love this company. <laughs> Here's what you might not know about Lululemon. If you go to the website, you can actually download their detailed impact agenda. It's comprehensive and it outlines all the changes they plan to make over the next 10 years. It's great to see them being honest and upfront about where they are now and where they're going. Look, I'm not gonna lie, it's disappointing that they haven't been running sustainably with fair wages up until now but I'm so happy to go on the website and see a detailed comprehensive report of the changes they're gonna make over the next 10 years. That's promising. None of us are perfect, not our corporations and not us as, us as individuals. But if we're honest about where we are and we're transparent about our flaws, but then make goals to be better, to do new things, to make new choices, well, that's all we can ask of anybody because none of us are perfect and that's what I see Lululemon doing. So as I read this report, here's just a few things that stuck out to me. They're committed to having FLA, Fair Labor Association accreditation by 2025. They're here to be giving efforts, supporting organizations that teach yoga and meditation to communities in need. One of those being Yoga Behind Bars. This is a, a program for teaching yoga in prisons. 
I practice yoga and meditation regularly. I get so much out of it, things that I can discover about myself, my decisions, my thoughts, and my behaviors in the world. So what an incredible resource this is for people who are working to rehabilitate and enter back into society. So they're working towards 75% sustainable materials by 2025, that's in less than four years. Now, if you want to, I've linked directly to the impact agenda down in the description. It is riveting reading, let me tell you, I was glued to it, read it all in one sitting. But just in case you're not a nerd like me and you're never gonna click on that link and read the report, I'll, I'll sum it up for you in a nice little package. They're making huge efforts to decrease their impact on the world and to clean their act up. You know what I always say, the only thing better than instant stardom is a good comeback story. And that seems to be what Lululemon's writing. Now I can already read your future comments in the comments section, but Chad, it's so expensive. But if you watched my video about whether or not Patagonia is worth it, you will know that my philosophy around worth it and expensive is that it's relative. And if we want to support the companies working hard to make a difference in the world and produce things responsibly, then we're gonna have to pay them for the extra work and effort it takes in order to do things right. As my grandpa always told me, you get what you pay for. So my friends, I love doing videos about companies that are conscious of their impact or products that help us create less waste and improve our lives. So if you have any suggestions of brands or products that you would like to see me review, I'd be happy to do it, put them in the comments. So don't forget to subscribe, turn the notifications on, and let's cast our votes together. Peace.